fellow traders, tis I the rumpled one. It is Sunday, August the 11th, years 2019. Let's talk trading, weekly open and gap. Let's see, we're in the second full trading week of the month. And during this week, you must have money and risk management employed on each and every trade. So let's take a look here and we can see all but one gap is filled. So I hope you were able to get a good price and enter your weekly open gap trades and make a few pips. Now remember, your results may differ from mine and these videos are for educational purposes only. And forex trading is risky, so um, you know, just be aware you could lose all your money trading forex. And if you need advice, seek it from an accredited financial professional. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can see here I've still got the Euro AUD up there. I guess a couple people liked me analyzing a new pair. Um, what do I see? Well, we're looking at a weekly chart. You can see this long wick here, and you can see this long wick here. Now, if price continues to go up right there, this is where if price passes it, I would look to go short somewhere around there, which is 66.94, so probably right around the 1.67 area. Just take that psychological, I'd look to go short there. But price might not even reach it. You can see here, uh, I believe these are the weekly pivots we have set here. And looks like price went up and took out that weekly pivot and is now reversed slightly. Oh, and somebody was asking about my different methods and how to trade method. Um, I use, I don't know, about five or six different methods that I look at. I mean, you could say the weekly gap. So when I look at the charts, I open them up. If I see something that's gapped down or gapped up, and it's a pair I usually like to trade, uh, and, it, and I have a uh, belief that it's going to fill that gap, um, I'll take that trade. So that's just one. And I'll try and talk through some of the others here, maybe in just a little bit more detail. But I do have videos on the buy zone, the rat zone, the wick zone, the holo, one, two, three. The uh, uh, zones, you know, the, the trades that I make. But it, the bottom line is I'm just taking horizontal line crosses. It just depends on where we draw the horizontal line. I mean, we've got the yearly open here. You know, if price comes down, I might take that cross. And you can see here, year, month, week, day, all up. We opened above the previous midpoint, so that was a look to go long. Consider we gapped down. Once again, a reason to go long. Because in any method, really, all you're doing is you're trading based on price and based on price either going up or going down. And you, you make these trades based on, a lot of times, based on what's happened in the past. And those people then have squiggly lines and a bunch of other stuff all over their charts. But uh, I like to base what's happening in the present. Is price crossing a line? Is it closing above or below a line? Simple stuff like that. You know, for example, we've got the, um, the first day of the year. Here's the high. First day of the year low, and you see a couple days ago it crossed. So... We're using this, and here's the, uh, we'll be putting in the first day of the week for this week right here. And just looking for price to exit those lines. You really can't uh, make it any simpler than that. It's really hard to. Uh, we see here prices above the opens for the last 12 months. Price is also above the opening day ranges for each of the past 12 months and let's see we had an inside bar here let's see six months ago five weeks ago 25 days ago and as you can see we're not going to have an inside bar today it's already gone above the previous day's high 
And if you notice, I turned this uh, chart on, oh, about maybe a couple of hours ago, just so you can see what's going on here. The amount of buying and selling. And here you see we do have some inside bar candidates to trade from. Range, no pairs over 100. Let's see, we've been into the, uh, about what, five hours, a little over five hours of trading so far. And so if you look at the previous days, high and low, you can see where price cut right through it. And that was good for about 24 pips. So once again, just a real simple breakout trade going in a direction. Of price crossing that line and you see when you trade you're basically saying I think price is going to go somewhere but if you have your stop loss in place if you're wrong oh well maybe the next time you'll get it right so there's no reason to worry or overanalyze and you see that's what most traders and trading you know, teachers out there on YouTube land, they just don't really break it down and tell you just how simple trading can be. They'd rather make you think there's a whole bunch of stuff that you have to learn, them, you know, the market and all this other, and, you know, divergence, funny name divergences, and um, just, just the whole smorgasbord of uh, stuff and junk. In fact, I'm reading a uh, book about cons, how people con people and some of the, and I'm sure I'm going to probably come across one that's going to be similar to what some of these um, people do out here. I mean, you, you look at some of these guys and they've got more things than you can shake a stick at just trying to separate you from your money. But let's see, back to trading. Here we have the highest open for the week right here on the highest H1 open for the week. And here's the uh, highest H1 or the lowest um, H1 open right here for the week. Right there, that was the open. And you see prices coming back down. So right here, already you could have traded off of this weekly H1 highest open. And you'd be up about 20 or so pips. Not a bad trade. Once again, and you don't need the indicators I write. You can eyeball it. Here's the highest open. <laughs> okay, price got a little bit above it and came back. You just go short there, and there you have it. I mean, this is just not that difficult. And if you were wrong, well, guess what? Maybe you got stopped out. Maybe you didn't. okay here we go the buy zone simply here's our daily weekly open same thing on the first day of the week and you see we had a pivot point here so it was a short bias but it was a long trigger here and actually the weekly pivot was up here so those trading towards the weekly pivot were rewarded but see here you're still waiting for this trigger and for the pivot to hit right there you've got a weekly daily open cross you could go short there if you wanted to take that trade right now and we don't have well actually we do have enough uh, distance we've got about nine pips between these now 10 making new lows now 11 so in the rat zone you, is a reversal trade so you look forward to put in a new low then you look for a rat reversal or some other trigger to cause you to make a long trade. And just a little bit more in the rat zone, uh, running the frequency distributions. We know for some pairs, price is usually 20 or more pips off the low and 20 or more pips off the high at the end of the day. So usually there's money to be made trading the rat zones. And here's that daily pivot. There's the weekly pivot I told you was taken out earlier. And you can see very few missed pivots, even though he already have three this month. 
And we're only, what, this is the eighth trading day of the month. So we're 126 below here, here, and here's the other pivots that have been missed this month. So it'll be interesting to see how many get taken out. Price action, there's your three ball at the top telling you take that highest open trade. You can see here price opened here, didn't want to stay there. Once again, it opened here, tried to go up, didn't. So taking a short here at the 30 would have paid off nicely. Of course, that's Harry hindsight, but we, we describe these trades each and every day. So we already know what we're going to do. Uh, wick zones, price doesn't like to stay in the wick zone. Um, so you can see in and out, in and out. Once again, statistical trade. Um, if you're worried about it, you place your stop loss, have your appropriate uh, position size. And it's pretty much a very simple trade. Not much thought has to go into it. You just have to wait for price to get into position. Then you can put your uh, entries, load the entries. Here we go across the... Uh, previous day's high, and then back down below it. Once again, you see here it was across below the previous H1's midpoint. That's a nice trade right there and the holo. So you had a lot going for you there. On the tick chart, and somebody was asking about the tick chart. Once again, if you just hit F9, it'll come up your own tick chart right there. But I wrote my own because I wanted to have a few other uh, lines on it. And then just to show when the uh, bid gets above the valley of the ask or the ask gets below the buying and selling. And the Einstein line, like I said, I turned this chart on a while ago. Right from the get-go, there was a long trigger. And then you see here we had a short then when price crossed about there, that was time to take profit. You see price made a new high, but or made a high here, but it was a lower high overall. So when it came back down, turn red, not another little teeny trade. But then here, as you can see, paid off nicely. Um, weekly open, we've already gone over the buy zone. And the ATR zones, you can see here where the week is. And the week high range, maybe back up to that 6,700 number. And the weekly low, maybe down to 62, 6,300 area, 6,292, getting into that ATR zone for the week. Uh, watching price just take out previous highs and lows of, on the uh, daily to see which way price is going. You can see here it already took out a high. Okay, I still need to work on that indicator. I don't remember why it does these crazy numbers here. But um, we've got the uh, Australian and Tokyo Opens. So, fellow traders, one other thing. Um, if you have a problem with an indicator, please send me a chart showing me what you see and you tell me what's, what you think is wrong. Or send me your template. And then I can load it and see what you see. Because if you just say it's not working, I, I don't have a clue what you mean when you say it's not working. You have to give me a little bit more to go on. Fellow traders, I hope... You're uh, looking forward to having a very profitable week this week. And as you're trading, just remember, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So let's go out there and drain the banks this week. And also, if you're new to my videos, remember to subscribe. And also, um, if you go to different forums, post a link to my YouTube video over there it might get you banned but it would be fun and also if you can give me some karma points on reddit i don't know it just bugs me the fact that uh they don't allow me to post so anyway drain the banks